Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'll be playing for Last Epoch's, uh, I guess, first league. So this would be our league starter. Um, I talked about this a little bit a few days ago on, you know, what are you guys going to play? And I wanted to try out Judgment Paladin. It's not necessarily a new build, but it is new for me. Uh, and there's so many different things to play. So this would kind of be, you know, think of Path of Exile. This is my Righteous Fire Chieftain League Starter. Um, yeah, so let's talk about it a little bit. It took me about four to five hours till I got to the point of being able to use my main skill for my build, but I was kind of like a turtle through the campaign, but nothing was really difficult. Pretty much leveled with this Cyclone Warpath uh, with Void Spiral literally all the way until I could get Judgment. Once I got Judgment, the build kind of came together. This is what the build is going to be built around is this skill right here. Essentially, it's a powerful melee attack. We're going to ignore that part. Uh, we just care about the enemies on consecrated ground. Take fire damage over time that scales with spell damage. Uh, and then later on, you actually get to be like a mana stacker because of this node here. Judgment consumes a percentage of your mana and deals more damage per mana consumed. So you get additive flat damage, right? Then you can scale with spell damage. Then, of course, you have your standard increases like damage over time, fire damage, etc. And then you get a big multiplier on dumping your MP. So this kind of promotes a, a balance between stacking MP and replenishing it. What's interesting about Judgment, which is really cool, is that it actually stacks. So, you know, a typical Righteous Fire Path of Exile, you have one application of it. It does not stack, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of gameplay on this. Again, it took me about, like I said, four to five hours to get here. But I mean, I was just like fucking around pretty much the whole time. So you could probably get here much quicker. And I'm just going to pick a random spot and go, uh, let's see, how do you quest in this game again? Right, uh, right here. Yeah, let's go here. This is a level 46 area, and I think we're 40, somewhere around there. My character's, like, not geared at all, right? This is, like, a fresh character, so think of PoE in the campaign. I just picked up random gear, put it on, and this is a video, right? So, like, to hover over my gear, I have, like, a fire damage, damage over time scepter, um, um melee damage on my body armor is so it's not optimized at all for any of this stuff right i did find this thing which is actually pretty cool it's basically plus one sentinel skills and percentage of armor applies to damage over time that's pretty cool other than this i don't think anything really does anything so this is kind of how the build works at the moment you're going to just right click and you see the dot here the dot here is pretty prominent but what's cool about this is this area here it's like consecrated ground from path of exile except it scales with your stats so if you look at my health, I'm going to go intentionally take some damage here uh, just to kind of show how it's going to work. Let's see. The mobs hurt me. I'm kind of squishy right now. I just heal a lot. So, all right. Boom. And then you see the health ticking. It's kind of crazy. Now, this is more like consecrated path rather than consecrated, well, I guess, you know, more than righteous fire. So like in PoE, you know, you charge to the guy and you leave the AoE on the floor. But over here, there's actually a node called, um, that's Holy Aura, whoops. Over here, there's a node called Anointed, which says Consecrated Ground becomes a Consecrating Aura, which surrounds you, but Judgment costs more MP and has a longer cooldown. Now, this probably won't matter because <clears throat> Judgment gets a two-second duration here, but if you look over here, we have Judgment no longer has a cooldown, but it has a big MP cost. So I think these will cancel each other out, thus just making it cost more MP, which is okay because over here we have a node called Pious Offering, which makes it so that when we dump MP, we get a big multiplier for the damage. So this will actually turn us into a pseudo um, mana stacker slash attunement stacker. Attunement is a stat over here, uh, which gives you two mana, improves the skills. However, uh, when it says improve skills, it depends on the skill that you're playing. So this actually scales with Fire, Spell, Melee. The Melee doesn't work for us, though. Damage over time, Area, Strength, Attunement. But Attunement also, uh, I think it, is it actually double dip it? There's, uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if Attunement double dips, but you can actually scale, increase healing effectiveness, and healing effectiveness actually gives it flat spell damage, which is really cool. So that's pretty nice. Actually, no, Attunement scaling, yeah. Attunement gives 4% increased damage and it gives 4% healing effectiveness. So Attunement increases our healing, amplifies the damage of the skill, right? Gives increased damage, which also amplifies the damage of the skill, and then gives us MP, which allows us to dump MP, 
So it's going to be like an attunement stacker. Really curious how this character plays out. Now, I'm intentionally, you know, not researching stuff here. I really enjoy going into these games kind of blind, especially because I've played Epoch a lot. Um, you know, that's going to be the fun of it for me is discovering as we go. And then later on, I'll make a build guide, make things, you know, more complex. But right now, very excited for this character. There's also something else we get to use since right now the mana is a little bit hard to deal with. Uh, we have this thing called Javelin. And when you throw it, it leaves a holy ground that has similar scaling. So that's also pretty cool. I'm also just going to pop this little boss here. And you're going to see that our damage sucks because I don't have the one where it follows me yet. So because it's not following me, the actually, no, this guy's not blinking around. Oh, there he goes. These guys are basically rogue exiles from Path of Exile who have like a guaranteed special fractured mod. Uh, maybe I shouldn't call it fractured. I'm not really sure what to call it, but yeah. This is where fixing our mana is going to come in and give us big, big, big damage. A lot of people were talking about going into um, the other class. What is it called? Void Knight. Void Knight has this thing called the uh, Anomaly. I forgot exactly what it's called, where you can basically like go back in time um, to like what your stats were previously. So you can like dump your skill and then go back in time. Similar to kind of what I was doing on my other character before. Uh, let's see what it's called here. Here we go. Volatile Reversal. Returns you to the position you were at two seconds ago. Reverting changes to your current health and mana. So you could technically dump Judgment because it stacks, right? You go into the negative and then you go back. This also synergizes really well with the fact that when we start pathing up here, we're actually getting Duration. And Duration is another multiplier. Why? Because if the circle lasts longer, it does more damage over X amount of duration. And with the duration lingering around me, it'll be a lot easier to target mobs once I'm tanky. All right, and that's pretty much about it for the character. The servers are going to be going down here soon. I don't know how much more I'm going to play this guy because I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I'm really excited. I've got in that itch again, and there's so many builds I want to play. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with this character and Circle of Fortune and pretty much see how far we can climb with it and see what we can hunt for our next couple of builds. I still want to play Warlock. I want to play Rune Master. I want to play Falconer. Uh, and then I might check out like the other RF variants on like Swarm Blade and some other stuff. But there's a lot of stuff to jump into. So really excited. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. Um, probably after a day or two, I'll have a loot filter link that you guys can find on my stream. Loot filters are pretty cool in Last Epoch because you can design them on the fly for what you need. So, for example, uh, this filter here took like two seconds. Literally just do like rarity, hide, all normal. So, rarity, hide, normal, and then all normals away. And then you can also do hide magic. And now all magic is gone and you just see rare items. It's super, super easy. And uh, this is another thing I really enjoy about builds is once you understand the synergy of how your character scales, you can actually use the loot filter as like a Wikipedia. So let me give a quick example, right? Well, I decided on my character, we're going to go with scepters instead of staves because I want to be able to use a shield because there's really good shield nodes within Sentinel and then all the ascendancies, right? So like Forge Guard, Paladin, etc. So right over here, I have this to recolor spine rods. But now that we decided we're going to go scepter, all I'm going to do is switch item type to scepter. So check this out. One handed uh, scepter. I guess I could look for one, but for right now, let's just go with scepter for the sake of this. And let's remove the two-handed. Now, the reason I did this is when I click subtypes, I click all classes, I can now see every single wand base in the game. And guess what I see over here? I see Argent Scepter as spell damage and damage over time. My aura is tagged as damage over time. There's even this one, the lower level one, that gives spell damage and Ellie damage. So now I can just click these. And now whenever these drop of any tier... They will automatically drop with purple color so I can see them. The The filter for Last Epoch is so incredibly useful for building your character up. It's honestly tied for me like within the character progression. It's very, very cool. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, remember, if you enjoy the video, feel free to hit that follow button. You can also catch me streaming live every day but Sundays. Actually, I will stream this Sunday though for Epoch uh, at twitch.tv slash box. And down below, I'm going to have a Nexus link. That just links you directly to my Nexus page where you can purchase uh, games. You can buy Last Epoch there. It also gives you a Steam key. So it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. You just help support me. You don't have to. I've been back in Epoch for like I think five or six years. And I'm really excited to see the game is finally ready to go. Anyway, catch you guys all later. Thanks everyone so much for watching.